can't believe my recording. I can't believe this works. I have this trusty old and cheap IDE USB connector thing that I used for many years already. And usually I plugged it in and out. And as we are professionals, usually I powered down everything as this is not hot swappable. And because I I'm still investigating here this Verge line thing. The hardware is somehow not behaving as I thought it should behave. I copy here quite some binaries back and forth and that got a little bit time consuming. And I just accidentally realized by accident that it really works if I keep this adapter in. Of course, don't try this at home. So this IDT wind chip is running. We plug this out. We plug this in. Now one thing is here you need to be careful. I learned this already the other year. The coding here is really shitty so you can plug it in one pin offset. So far everything survived then but I sometimes wonder that I plugged it in and it didn't work. Plugged it in and out and in and out and of course it didn't happen so often but I thought already this USB chip is cheap crap. But then I eventually discovered after a year or two that Usually when it doesn't work, it is one pin offset left or right. That is really annoying. So we have here some mount, copy and unmount. And until some minutes ago, I really unplugged this USB cable also to be sure. But it really works. So far nothing burns through without unplugging and rebooting everything. Of course, don't try this at home. Normally you shouldn't hot swap it. But so far it worked. Of course I will cry in some days that it burns something. Yeah, still analyzing this line stuff, so I just wanted to give you this unprofessional IDE USB hot swap tip in case you do this kind of tinkering, but but as I said you probably shouldn't really do it anyway, so stay tuned for more hardware accelerated line debugging.